Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about problem solving. This corresponds to section 1.8 of your textbook. We're going to talk about three types of wall problems. Number one is the percentage problems. Number two is the dry mixture problems. Number three is, is the, the investment problem. First, we're going to talk about the percentage problem. Look at the first example here. Uh, let's talk about video games. Okay, I know a lot of you uh, like video games, right? Okay, so here it is a circle graph. Okay, this this whole circle here represents the total number of video games shown in the United States in 2009. Okay, now out of all this video game, 38.6% of those games will be action adventures. And in this section over here for action adventures, there are 96,500,000. Okay. So there's so many action adventure games. Okay. Now the question here is, we're trying to determine the total number of video games sold in the United States in 2009. So, which means we're trying to find the total number of games here in the United States in 2009. So we know this part right here. We know this section here. This section here is this many number of games. Uh, we know that this section here is 38.6% of this total. Okay, now we try to find the total number of games. So how many games in total? Okay. So this again is a wall problem. So remember, we talk about every wall problem. We want to get in a good habit to follow the four step. Okay, L E S S less. Okay. So less is more. Okay. Uh, the first step here, L stands for let x be. Okay. Uh, we try to declare the variable. So you think about what are they asking? They're asking the total number of video games sold in the United States in two thousand nine. So Whatever they're looking for over here, we're going to let X be that. So we let X be the total number of video games sold in the United States in 2009. So if this is a 10 point problem, now you get one point for declaring your variable over here. Okay, so let X be whatever they're looking for over here in this case. Okay, so let X be that. Okay. Now the second step is E, E for equation. So we're trying to get an equation that involves this x over here. So take a look at this problem and you say, how can I get an equation? So the information given here is this, 38.6% of the total gain is going to be this number. So out of this total, 38.6% will be action adventures. Okay. And the number of this is 96,500,000. Okay. So we can translate this into an equation. So 38.6%, we will write that in decimal. So it's better that you we write those percent, percentage in terms of decimal. So in terms of decimal, that's 0.386. Off over here, translate into multiplication. So that's multiplying. The total number of gains here is the one that we're looking for. Okay, we're trying to find out. So that is x over here, okay? So that's x. It's over here, translate into the equal sign, the equal symbol, so equal. And that's 96,500,000. Now we got an equation, okay? By using this information over here, okay? The next step here is to solve it, okay? To solve this, we need to isolate this x. So to isolate this x, we undo this modification to undo the multiplication, we divide. So we divide both sides by 0.386. So x is going to be equal to this, divided by 0.386. So calculating this, okay, we got 250 million number of games. Okay, so that's the solving part here. And the last part here is, don't forget the last part, it is a complete sentence. 
So why the complete sentence to answer whatever they're looking for? They're looking for the total number of video game, right? So why the complete sentence here? So the total number of games is 250 million in the United States in 2009. Now the problem is complete. So if this is a 10 point problem, the credit variable here will work one point, equation here will work four point, and that's the hardest part to set up the equation. And solving it worth four point, and a complete sentence at the end worth a one point. So total will be 10 point. Okay. Now, something we want to point out here is don't forget to change percent to decimal form before performing any calculation. Like this one over here is in percentage. So you will write that in decimal form. It's easier to do the calculation right here. Okay. Um, now, at the end, you can actually check if the answer that you got here makes sense. Okay. So this, if this is a total number game, okay, then the number of action adventure games is 96 million 500,000. So using this divide by this total, we got 0.386, which is 38.6%. So which agree with what they said, right? They say 38.6% of the total video game will be action adventure. So now you take those action adventure games, divide by the total game, indeed it is 38.6%. So the result check, okay? So you got it right. So this is the end of the percentage problem. When you do homework and you get any question, then you can ask me in class and we can go over them.